So I'm feeling a little defeated. I just, I have to cut this tree down. I just, you know, my hands, my job is so physical with my hands and it's not just the week I've had, <coughs> it's, you know, 29 years of the weeks I've had with my hands. And, um, you know, I need another, I don't know, eight years for my hands to last. So I don't think that this is working for me. I can't, I just, you know, yeah, I don't enjoy it. I really don't enjoy it, but, um, it's just, it's too hard. And I need this terrible tree that I'm going to show you. See that tree? I, I don't know. I can't find my mom's original, um, blueprints for the landscaping but it's just a nuisance tree and it's it's like many branch it's like many branch I don't know how to describe it um, but I, I basically want it cut down and um, and then what I'd like to do is in this sort of like corner is do like a side of vegetable garden or something I don't know but I have to be wary of my hands so I'm going to have to hunt up, I'm just going to have to pay someone. So I'm going to have to hunt up, um, I guess I can look at my um, HOA bulletin board and see, figure out what I can afford. And, um, you know, the butterfly bush needs to be trimmed down and really it's not as hard, but still it's, it's, look, look at my hands. So my hands are gripped, right? Doing this. It's, really need my hands to rest after 30 hours. So I just feel a little defeated. There's butterflies there, which is nice. I'd only seen one. I've got three right now. So that's nice. But even just to sit out here with wine and pull, it's, it's just actually my job of handling books is just constant. It's like, you can't, I don't know if you can see, but see that? That's for my job. And this you can't tell, but well, now I'm starting to get all gnarled. So that's just, you know, it's from my job. Sorry guys, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm just whining. There we are. So, <coughs> so the reality is I'm gonna hire someone and just give up eating, which I need to do anyway. I wonder like, okay, if I'm spending $100 a week on groceries, that's $200, right? In two weeks. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that this week. I want that whole thing just clear because I don't want to ever have to trim this tree again. I really don't. The butterfly bush needs to be cut the way these things are monstrous, so that thing needs to be cut way down. I do want it there because I like the butterflies to come, and I think a little pot gardening and that kind of thing and a few weed pulling is okay, but I can't. I just can't do it, you know. And I have so much I want to do in my house and my garage that. You know, my hands hurt so bad. I mean, I think that was about 40 minutes of just pulling weeds. And, um, yeah, so I feel a little sad. But my outfit's super cute, so. <sighs> I told myself I could order something to eat if I came out here and at least tried to do something. But, I don't know, I mean, do I just rip up, have all my, I just have, start with dirt I have a bunny my bunny needs some greens I don't know but I don't have to think about it this year um, and I'm just wondering too like if I do like a bigger swath you know and I can try and grow vegetables so I have a bunny I don't have any other things coming in here that would eat, I think. So I don't know. It's just depressing. I mean, it's so pretty. It should not be this depressing, but it, it really is. Because, you know, you want to be able to take care of it. And it's not even, a, my back is okay. I have a stamina. It's my hands. They hurt so bad right now. And, you know, after five days of working, it's like I need to let them rest. I'm just doing normal stuff, you know. 
you don't know until, but that, you know, that's just getting worse and worse and worse. So, you know, eight years down the road, 10, God, I'll have all crippled up fingers, but maybe they'll have something that can make it better. I don't know. So, yeah. Yep, so that's where we're at on the garden and the yard and this stuff, and um, it's just too much for me. I mean, it's sad that my hands, but, you know, when your job is using your hands all the time, and, and it's not even like keyboard, it's fine, right? I mean, you have your own problems from that, but it's holding and flipping and flipping. It's this kind of thing, and, and when you're yanking weeds, it's the same, or if you're trying to use that thing, you're gripping, right? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to find someone that I can afford and be some kid. Um, and just start with, I don't know, my weed whacker's broken. Maybe I can try to get that. Um, but get all this just crap gone. And then we're going to attack this tree. I don't like it. I don't think my mom, I, I think it's a nuisance tree, like a weed or something. It just, it's not a solid trunk. It just has all these things coming out. So. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, you look at it, I don't want it anymore. So that will be my goal to have someone come and um, at least price it out and um, get that thing just gone and this whole area just cleaned out. And um, I mean, obviously it'll have to be weeded. These are my thoughts. And, um, yeah, you know, I went through, um, you know, going through Christmas stuff, you know, I stumble across stuff and it's sad. It's, sometimes it makes you sad. Sometimes it doesn't. It's just, you know, I'm sad anyway. And, um, you know, I think I can deadhead. Okay. But yeah, I didn't even, I haven't even made art yet. I haven't played at my table. I've been watching a couple art videos, so that's nice. This jelly plate stuff I want to get. So I'm going to borrow Beverly's tomorrow, and I, other than the plate, um, I have everything else I need. I would like another size plate, but I'm going to start with one and see, and she has a book. But the videos I'm watching, there's a woman, her name's Brigitte Coopson or Coon something, but anyway, she's teaching for Michaels, and she's in the Netherlands. She's very good and um, she's already made me so excited. So yeah, so for now I am going to um, try to get on, I gotta, you know, it's like I gotta find my passcode or reset it to get on this thing, but that's what I'm gonna do. And um, I also need to ask about mice exterminators and um, maybe I can even hire someone, you know, my friend Corey used to come help me and give him some money, get someone to come and just help me in the garage. Like, just like, okay, let's go, let's go. So I'm going to look into that because I really do need help. And, um, yeah, I worry about my hands, you know, hands are a pretty important thing to have. You know, try to do stretches and be smart on how I handle things, you know, and never try to touch something twice, you know, tell that to my kitchen table, but you know what I mean. But yeah, I hope you're happy. I mean, it's a beautiful day, y'all absolutely gorgeous day and um yeah i didn't water i watered enough i think but i yeah i just mm. yeah tomorrow i think when i come back from can't we know we'll hang out um, but you know i'll probably be home by four and uh can do some watering i just don't think i can pull any more weeds like i have been maybe a couple around these pretty plants I have. But other than that, yeah, I think that's the plan. Yeah. It's always good to have a plan and to understand your own limitations. I think before I thought you're just being lazy. Or, you know, that's been implanted in my brain. But I'm thinking it now. And, um, but you know, there's really a maturity in saying, you know, I can't do this anymore, right? Like, I can't, I used to be able to carry up all the groceries in one haul. I really can't. I need to, I take three or four trips, right? Just, you know, I don't want to fall. I'm just not as strong. But I really am going to be thinking about joining the YMCA. 
and just get strong. Like, you know, not about losing weight, but just be as strong as I can in my body now. But even, I think lifting weights, you know, but I would only do that two or three times a week. So, yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do, y'all. And I've got, I did, there's something here. It's, I don't know if it's a, t I thought, like, did I break, it's like, the tendon here is inflamed. Kills me. So, yeah. I can see the writing on the wall here. And I might have to, i got so many appointments to make up at the end of the year, but I think next year I might go to a hand specialist. See what they say. You know, I don't know if there's certain exercises. Um, but yeah, let's see what, and you know, this is arthritis. I don't know where that had happened. <coughs> Excuse me. Even if I hadn't had a job that was hard on my hands, I don't know. I don't know, because it doesn't matter. But the skies are blue, y'all. But okay. My last goal for tonight is to, well, I'm going to sit at my art table and journal. And um, I, I know there's more stuff with holidays that I just want up in my living room. And it just, you know, even if it goes back down, it's all contained and, and gone through, and I know what it is. I don't know. I don't know if it would hurt. I could find a place in my garage for it. I mean, you know, most of summer's not over, but it's getting there. So I don't think it would be a problem. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm tired. Oh, so I'm going to go and see if I can talk myself into eggs instead of ordering a pizza. What do you think? And, um, yeah, and I'm reading a book. I'm going to finish that. I got to get Beverly. It's just, you know, I, I didn't get a lot. There's fun little things here and there. And, um, I need to work on that. And, um, like I said, I have something I'm doing next Saturday. So I had to take off work. And, um, so that will be nice. I'll have, um, Friday, Saturday, and then I work Sunday, and I'll be off Monday. So that gives me some time to get some stuff done. And like I said, down in my, my studio, I really want to measure and get the shelving for that and get everything out, declutter it, and, you know, I have to have some place where I'm putting things back. And the cookbooks, I'm trying to move to my library and just go through them. Um, found a cookbook my mom had written from Tracy to mom or to mom from Tracy she wrote it out in October I forget the year she liked to do that and I would always forget to do that and she always did it she loved that so yeah that book's got to say it's actually a really good cookbook so uh, but stuff like that is hard I'm feeling emotional very emotional and um our first son not being at the pool for Beverly's birthday. Maybe 25 years. I mean, how lucky are we? But that's just it's just hard. Being just sad all the time. So I'm listening to music, which you know I love music, and it makes me want to bop my head and shake my hips. So regardless, I don't know if I'd be on my deathbed and someone play music and I'd start moving around. Just a warning. Yeah, I think I'm going to sit here and look at these lovely, lovely butterflies. There's only two. Um, there's usually a lot. But Beverly said something's wrong with the butterflies, so, you know. I don't know. Maybe I'll... There you go. You can see the butterfly. There's two of them. One's at the top, which I'm not sure you can see. I'll just... Anyway, you can sit here with me and watch some butterflies. They're so magnificent, aren't they? And it's just a miracle they survive on the planet at all. And they're just getting fed, you guys. All right, so I'm going to leave this on for a little bit, and then I'm going to go feed myself. 